This video is sponsored by Aura. So we moved into our current workshop about a year ago. And on the inside, it's pretty finished, but from the outside, nobody really gets what we do. So we wanted to have a go at making our very own sign using a method that we haven't actually tried before. And as you're probably aware of by now, we love making things using sustainable materials. So you guessed it, we're gonna make this out of recycled plastic. We also thought it could be a really cool thing to try out as businesses all over the world need signs. And considering all the different colors that plastic comes in, it could be a perfect material for this. So if this process works, this could be a really good technique to use loads of plastic waste that's currently littering our planet. So the methods that we're going to show you today could be used to make any size or shape sign that you want. But seeing as we're trying to clean up our planet bottle top by bottle top, we thought it'd be fitting to make a sign that takes inspiration from this and make a nice little planet earth that sits above our workshop door. As mentioned, we're going to be attempting something we've never tried before, and that is going to be to make two separate sheets of plastic and then bond them together using heat. That way we can cut through the top layer of plastic and reveal the second colour below. We're also going to use two different melting techniques, so to kick things off, we're going to try the first one with our good old friend, the Panini Press. We're melting down a few different shades of blue, as well as some black and white to give it that nice marbled effect. To achieve this, we're twisting and folding the plastic as we go, which gives the whole thing a bit more visual interest. Once we had enough of the plastic melted, we chucked it into our toaster oven and that's just going to keep it up to the right temperature whilst we get the bottle jack and our DIY sheet press ready to go. We made a video a little while ago about how you can make your own bottle jack press, so if you want to do this all on a DIY scale, you absolutely can. We'll pop a link in the description below for you. We didn't want that blue sheet to cool too much, so as soon as it was in the press, we cracked on with our green sheet, which would act as the land in our plastic planet. For this sheet, we're gonna make it using our extruder, but if you don't have one, don't worry, you can just do the same technique as the first method. Into the extruder, we put our shredded plastic flakes, and then that heats it and is pumped out into a continuous molten stream of plastic. Once we thought we'd had enough green plastic extruded, plus some obligatory shots for Instagram, we rolled this up with some black and yellow HDPE and twisted this all up just to give it a nice marbled look. When we took the blue sheet out of the mold, we realized it had already hardened quite a bit. So we took a heat gun to this for about four to five minutes, just so that it was tacky in order for the two sheets to bond together properly. If there's not a really good bond, there's a good chance that the two sheets would separate once they were cooled. We then placed the hot green plastic on top, spread it out as much as we possibly could, but we had to be a little bit mindful because this cools down very quickly and we had to get it pressed pretty sharpish. We then chucked the whole thing in our bottle jack press and left it to completely cool overnight. Now, we like to think that we're a couple of fairly decent and respectable chaps trying to do their bit to make the world a better place. But unfortunately, there are some people out there that do try and take advantage of others online. But never fear, because we've partnered with the wonderful folks over at Aura to help keep you protected online. They've got a super easy app, which includes everything you need for you and your family to stay safe whilst using the internet. Aura protects you from scammers and hackers by surfing the dark web, looking for your emails, passwords, and social security numbers. And if it does find anything, it alerts you super fast. 
They help you fight back against those annoying websites that make your personal information public by automatically requesting removal of your details, which helps reduce those irritating phone calls that we all get. Aura gives you near real-time alerts on suspicious credit inquiries, like if someone was trying to take out a loan or get a credit card in your name. Aura can even help you manage what your kids do on their devices. You can restrict specific apps, set screen time limits, or even set focus times to help make sure your child is doing their homework instead of binging YouTube. So let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. And if you sign up using our link, you'll get a 40 day free trial. You'll be absolutely shocked how much of your private information that Aura finds has been exposed over those two weeks. Head to aura.com forward slash brothers make to start your two week free trial. You can also find the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen right now. So a massive thank you to Aura for sponsoring this video. Let's go check out how that two tone slab is looking. So we opened up the mold and we were both equally shocked but very happy that those two colors had bonded absolutely beautifully. It is really important that you spend enough time with the heat gun getting the surface of that bottom slab really warm. We did do a small test run before this one where we probably only heated it for less than a minute and it did come apart as soon as we opened the mold. Next, we just trimmed off any excess with a sharp knife before running it through our Triton thicknesser. We then went over the entire slab with a card scraper to get rid of those thicknessing lines and this is our favourite method because it makes waste that you can really easily collect up for reuse later on. If you don't have access to a thicknesser or one big enough for the size of slab you're working with, you can actually use the card scraper for the whole project, it just takes a little bit longer. We give it a final polish just to give that surface a really nice finish before taking it over to our table saw to trim up the edges. So we don't usually do this step with our plastic sheets, but we wanted to gauge roughly how deep we had to cut into that green land plastic to reveal that blue ocean underneath. So the next step was to drill some mounting holes and then take this over to our Stepcraft D840 CNC machine to start cutting out this planet Earth. We used the Aspire software by Vectric to draw up our lovely planet earth design and then we were ready to start cutting using the CNC machine. Since our design had a lot of detail but there was quite a lot of material to remove, we started off with a 6mm bit and this would be used to remove the bulk of the material. For the second pass we changed over to a 2mm bit and this did a bit more of the finer detail. Finally, on the third pass, we changed it out for a one millimeter bit, which did all of the sort of final nice finishing touches. The awesome thing about our setup is that we have a fully sealed enclosure around our machine, which makes all of the waste easy to collect for reuse later on. We then did some final tidying up of the plastic. First we trimmed off any excess with a knife and then we used a sharp blade just to scrape away at those layer lines that were left in that sort of ocean section. We definitely could have found a way to use the CNC to do this step for us, but since our skills aren't really up to scratch yet, we thought we'd do this the old fashioned way just to get this project finished. To save you sitting there watching us scrape away at plastic, which probably isn't a million miles away from paint drying, we'll finish this off screen and then show you the final piece.
So there is our finished sign. We are stupidly happy with how good this looks, especially considering we didn't really have time to practice this and it was just a bit of an idea that we had and we're really glad it came out as well as we'd hoped. To give it a little bit of contrast, we mounted the whole thing onto a white backboard, which we engraved with a pretty deep and meaningful message, which we think was put in a rather eloquent way. We also went back and added a small bevel by hand to all of the land areas, just to soften up those edges slightly. Again, this is probably something we could have got the CNC to do for us, but like we said, we're not there yet. We also really think that the plastic perfectly lends itself to this application because all of those different colors that pop through really give a sense of sort of gradient and texture. Thank you so much for watching the video, you wonderful lot. We hope you enjoyed it. And a huge thank you to all of you that have been kind enough to subscribe because our little channel has just hit 250,000 subscribers. Oh, Got a million. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thank you. And we just want to give one final thank you to, uh, they're a group, and I'm going to give you a clue. It rhymes with pigeons on Gatreon. <laughs> Get it? No, no. <laughs> it, it's those legends on Patreon. Thank you so much to each and every one of you for giving your hard earned money to a couple of idiots melting some bottle tops in panini presses. We are eternally grateful. See you on the next one, guys. And remember, keep the earth clean, it's not Uranus. Maybe, maybe keep both clean. <laughs> <laughs>